What does it mean to be in the army? What does it mean to be a weaponized human? Armies exist for one purpose only, is to seek and destroy those that disagree with you, those that threaten your ideas. Instead of having ideas that's best for everyone, one of them specialist ideas, and these specialist ideas must be protected against others, which indicate the very fact of how invalid the whole concept of an army or a weapon or a specialist is in terms of killing other humans just because they disagree with you. And apparently because of that they're a threat. Somewhere this must end. Obviously from a Destonian perspective for us saying this, we're already a threat to our dear brothers in arms. If your arms could only be the things that do actual work that confirm that you love thy neighbor and not be things that become extensions of projectiles that burst and kill people, that explode within people and that do it purely for the sake of your so-called free freedom and free choice when that is not really free choice. Free choice must be that which give everyone the choice to be free. And that happens with equality and equal money. Fascinating to note how deliberately things can be pulled out of proportion purely to try and prevent a new world from coming about. This destiny is a new world. Our ways will bring an end to armies because your arms should be done and used for labor and for loving, not for killing. And we'll bring an end to weaponized humans because as long as there are weapons, we will keep on weeping on. There will be no end to the atrocities and the sadness. Join us if you are ready to see that there is something psychotically disproportionate about being in the army or wanting to kill for the purpose of protecting your so-called freedoms. Then you're not free, it's just a lie. Watch out who's selling the lie and why they have to pay you money to be a weaponized human to protect the elite. There is no point to it. You have been trained in a school of thought. That school of thought is claiming that anything that is against it is apparently a cult. We are not the cult or the occult. We are purely human beings that is no longer controlled through mind control. Or through money control. I mean, mind control and money control is the same thing. If you're ready to consider that war must be ended, weapons must be stopped, and humans must be free from their fear so they don't have to kill each other to be free, then join us at Destiny. We're here for you as well, whether you are with us or not. Because what we're proposing includes you in a way that will give you true freedom and that will protect your family and your future. I'm quite sure somewhere inside you there must be some little bit of common sense and you'll be able to hear some of what I'm saying. I understand the fear is immense. That one is completely overrun by it and therefore you'll attack because that's apparently the best defense. But that only means that you, there is a fence. There shouldn't have been a fence between neighbors, between those that love each other. There should have been sharing but it doesn't exist. All Schools of thought has only been lies and control. 
Stop the control. Stop the mind control. And join us. We're just a few people around the world that is gaining in number slowly but surely. And we know the difficulties we are facing. So, let's see if real love can actually come into existence in this world and the evil that is called love now can be exposed for what it really is. If you are a weaponized human, you are evil because you are willing to kill to protect your freedom and not to protect all freedom. You are mind control. That's why you can kill so easily. That's why the others that disagree with you as the enemy. Just look at that. Simple mind control. You can't even see how easily you could have been in the other's shoes. Put yourself in the shoes of another and then decide if you will kill them. <laughs>